Okay, so number three. Number three is going to be Open SSH, which this will enable you to access your iPad from your PC. Um, I will show you a quick demo through the PC here. Um, basically, it will install on your iPad. Um, it will install an application which will enable you to input to your iPad through your PC to install movies, videos, music, um, to put anything and remove stuff. To basically access to all the hidden files which you can't get through through iTunes or any other way. So you have to you have to um, SSH into your iPad. Um, so basically, this one again is on the featured applications of Cydia. Um, down the bottom of the featured application you will see open SSH and install open SSH this may install a couple of other packages with it as well um, that you may need like mobile terminal um, it will it will tell you here and it'll install those extra bits on it as well as you can see uh, you need to install mobile terminal first which is simple just go to search on Cydia um, once you click on search just put in mobile um, and when you scroll down, you'll see mobile mobile terminal, which will be under the M's. There you go. Um, once you've got that done, mobile terminal, install that as well, and then you'll be able to install the Open SSH. Um, so once Open SSH is installed, it's a hidden control which you'll be able to control through your your if we can get this working here <laughs> through your um, control of SBS settings up here it will be set in the top which will have SSH and you'll be able to turn it on and off um, and through that you will then have to install um, Windows SCP on your Windows computer and this was a login device which will enable you to log in basically and all you'll need to do is put in your host name your username and password which are all set and standard you will put in the IP address which is on the top up here as your host name so the 192.168. whatever it says you put it in the host name username is root and password is alpine I will put those on the write up for this video as well and then you'll be able to access the files I'm going to show you a full access your iPad um, on another video that I'm going to do. So that's OpenSS application which is number three.